I might not be a Cornhusker fan, but I sure do love Nebraska. Today we tackle Nebraska Roosters, and the bird numbers are, <laughs> well, you'll see. Wow, look at them going. They're still going. The Flush, presented by Federal Premium Ammunition and Pheasants Forever. Many of Nebraska's biggest traditions flourish come fall. You know, I like to think that some of our traditions are corn husker football and pheasant hunting. Monday rush hour in St. Paul, Nebraska, looks like this. I guess everyone's already at breakfast. Visit St. Paul once, you won't ever forget, especially if you run into Pete Berthelsen. Well, Bill, I don't, <clears throat> I don't want to put any pressure on you, but I do need to mention at this moment in time that there is a tradition here. Pete works for Pheasants Forever. The first time you come here, you're required to order the breakfast stacker. And Pete always has an agenda. I just need to take my word for it is all you need to do. All right, fine. Today, he offers up the sweet shop's best known breakfast. The waitress brings out the plate and look at that. <laughs> Come on. I'm gonna need a straw. Would somebody at least tell me what it is? There's uh, hash browns, eggs, biscuits, gravy. I've never eaten it. Well, of course you haven't. There is a strong correlation between the success of the day and how much of that you eat. That might be good mojo, but that is a plate full of bad karma. <laughs> this better pay off. <laughs> 11 minutes. You need some help with yours? They never brought a straw. With my record breakfast now toast, <laughs> get it? We get to the meat of our trip. So the different branches of the Loop River all meet right in St. Paul. And Pete's got a buddy with some land right around the river. So we're gonna kind of sneak back in there and see what he's got for bird numbers. Today, Pete hunts both his dogs, Lucy and Stella. In the field, there's no question that uh, Lucy as, who I refer to as the meat dog, is the alpha female that will get out there and work and work and work until she drops. Lucy is an eight-year-old chocolate Labrador retriever. Stella is six. Pete fell in love with hunting dogs as a kid, and he never looked back. My first dog that was truly my dog, I got for five bucks from the pound. Pete for the record, normally knows a few spots. Is that fair enough to say that you know spots? Like the back of my hand. Get your mojo rising. We load up to hunt a piece of old agricultural land. Some of the first birds I ever shot in Nebraska were on this field. That was a long time ago. Eventually this habitat went under the plow and the crops took over. But Pete and the local Quail Forever chapter helped the current landowner tweak these acres back into birdie habitat. Let the games begin. Look at the sand hills. Yeah, it's like that all the time around here, Bill. Hunt with Pete, you'll hear this. Here, here. It's kind of his call. And you hear this too. I'm pretty confident that we're gonna have six roosters laying on the tailgate today. That's kind of bold. Well, it, it is, but I tell you, the, <clears throat> the correlation between hunting success 
and full consumption of the breakfast stacker is so strongly correlated that it gives me great confidence. You are the man. No, Pete, actually you are. Hey, Bill, the dogs are birdie, just in case you hadn't realized that yet. <laughs> wow. Rooster, take him! What? Huh. That was a nice big bird. Thanks, Pete. Why did you not shoot at that first bird? Because it was in front of you. It wasn't in front of me. It started over there. It was going wow. that way. I'm... Wow. Can't miss if you don't shoot. Well, we out. The dogs do their thing. Well, if it's in front of you, I'm not shooting. I want to maximize the experience for you as well. OK. You're welcome. Really, you're welcome. Oh. That's in front of you, stopped. that's in front of you. Take him, I'm out! Oh, we got problems now. Like that, two more birds down. The dogs need to find three total. All right, we got one, the second one's here. Get it! There it is. That a girl, come on. I mean, right here? That bird was only six yards away from you when you shot it. No, 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 no. They got it hammered. I don't have a stopwatch on this, but what we're seeing here are the early impacts of the breakfast stacker at work. <laughs> I don't know, what are we, 10, 15 minutes into this? Thing? I don't know, but I'm going back there to have lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Nebraska hunters live by a simple rule. <laughs> Come on. Always finish breakfast. <laughs> They never brought a straw. You might call it voodoo, but the breakfast stacker for somebody that comes and hunts with me for the first time, it's 100% good mojo. Oh! Clearly, Pete forgot to chow down. Oh, come on! All of a sudden, we are literally five minutes into the hunt, and we've got half our birds bagged. We should be so done. Photographer Arab's like, guys, slow down. We need to document to hunt today. Now they're starting to get a little bit birdie again, Bill. Yeah, oh, there they go. There rooster. they go. Oh, oh, rooster. Ho, ho. Ho, ho. It's the rooster. Ho. rooster. Wow. Look at them going. They're still going. A two-hour walk on this piece of Nebraska habitat proves that if you build it, Take them! They will come. There we go. Yeah, keep an eye on that there, Bill. You got something there. Get ready. Ah, no. Guess I'm getting hungry for lunch. Hey, there's a few birds in here. Ah, uh, more than a few. Booster! <laughs> the birds are on this property in this habitat for a good reason. It's got the kitchen next to the bedroom. It's got the food source right there. Highly diverse habitat. Good heavy cover. You have lighter cover for brood rearing. You have water there. I mean, it just, it has the whole complement. <laughs> that a girl? I may or may not have had to run 100 yards to mark that bird. And the dog got it. That's a memorable hunt. Phenomenal. Good job, man. All right, cool. Flip the ball. Thanks for coming down. Love it. Uh, OK, man hugs. Now that we've got that out of the way. Kind of early, now what? Well, that is a problem when uh, when we grind them up this fast. Wow. Nebraska hunting is so good, a guy can get bored, real bored. At least until dinner time. Pete shows us another corn husker surprise, the town of Danabrog's Danish bakery. So let me get this story straight. We're in a Danish bakery run by a German guy who likes to make Italian food. One night a week on Thursday night, 
He makes pizza. People come from all over the country to the Dutch Baker's Pizza. Oh yeah, and Tom the Baker's got another surprise too. The Danish baker likes music too. A lot of good people who are dead and gone so that I was up with We're stretching cheese pizza. He's over there strumming. People are laughing, telling stories. It is just the perfect night during the fall in Nebraska. Can I take it? Well, you have to put a cup on it, but I need The girls ready? There we go. Pete Berthelsen never hunts quietly. It's just not in his DNA. Since I'm still cooling the barrels on my Benelli today, there's going to be a small change. Oh, yes, sir. Stacked barrels. It's the only way to fly, my man. This is my box of Federals. Look at that. He's got so many shells in his jacket, he walks like this. Pete gets excited to hunt. You can't really blame him. My opinion, I've been here for 24 years, and these are the best numbers I've seen in my 24 years. There are literally quail everywhere. Today, we walk one of those pieces of property Landowner has asked that we do not shoot pheasants. Fair request. So, we start walking. This is a real nice potential roosting spot right here. And we keep walking. Yeah, this is a pretty, pretty good spot right here, Bill. And then we walk some more. The deer that rubbed this is probably not a real wall mounter. And we just keep on walking. What do you think about these quail numbers I'm showing you? I was never very good at math, so at least I'm keeping up today. One hour becomes two. I'm a little disappointed. And our birdie piece of quail property Rooster! Wow, that's not fair. Shows us exactly one rooster pheasant. I don't know what to say, gentlemen. And zero quail. <laughs> I'm sorry. With spot one a complete mess, we hit Pete's Prairie. We hope to hear one thing. Too bad we won't hear anything. Good gracious. And, and Nebraska's wind howls. Roaster! Do, 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 do! Oh boy. I was not ready for that. There's one. Get ready, he's not alone. Here goes Quill. You want to say about Oh! Whoa. What? See? You see that pump? They're gone. Especially with a 25 mile an hour tailwind. 25 miles an hour, that's it? No, I just said that to make you feel better. We're really putting on a clinic. God, I can't believe I missed that coil. Terrible. It's getting breezy out here. You don't say. <laughs> <laughs> Not all stories have happy endings. Rooster! See what I mean? That's why they call it hunting, I guess. Oh well, there's always tomorrow. Twelve hours after we walk out of Pete's Field, we find ourselves in Broken Bow, Nebraska. All over this town, signs of something big. It definitely makes making pancakes really easy. Broken Bow's breakfast griddle. Just one of many things today that will absolutely wow us. I mean, take that hat 
how does a Minnesota boy end up in a Georgia hat? The answer, these guys, self-titled Georgia boys. Four hunters who have come to Nebraska for a one-day hunt, as unique as that darn griddle. You know, I came out here 10 years ago on a new team, and now this is my new team. And we don't have anything like this uh, in Atlanta, Georgia. Nebraska's annual one box hunt connects hunters with local hosts. Ours owns a bus. Normally, this thing goes to Cornhusker football games. But this morning, the bus shuttles Team Georgia towards a different field. Come sun up, game on. Hang tight, you'll understand. Rooster! In Nebraska, Team Georgia preps for Nebraska's most stressful hunt, no doubt. It's like pre-game before the big game. The rules of the one box are simple. Five hunters, one box of shells see which team harvests the most birds. And that's all she's got, none left. Today, we compete against six other teams. They hunt in other fields somewhere nearby. Come on, boys, get fired up. To be honest, everyone's a little verklempt. Five shells <laughs> is extremely stressful. As we hit the field, everyone goes silent. Here's the thing. Rooster, come at you. We flush birds, but nobody shoots. You tend to overthink shots because you think if I take this shot and I miss, I'm down to four, then I'm down to three, so it's a little pressure on you. And you never really know how many birds we might see. So, next rooster, I'm taking a chance. Come at you, Bill, rooster. Nice, watch him. <laughs> All of a sudden, they yell out rooster, and there it goes at 40 yards. <laughs> Thank goodness. How do I feel? <sighs> one shell, one bird. Hey, coach, can I put another shell in? The one box might be about bragging rights, but really, it's more about the town of Broken Bow and raising money. We give out like $15,000 in scholarships every year. I have a senior in high school, so I look forward to that. How many years for the event? 54, is that right? Holy cow. Brewster! Coming at you, Wilson! Brewster! Brewster! Uh, that one's dead. Jesus. Now you know what it feels like to kill a bird. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I think everybody's a little tight. Everybody's a little tight. But it's coming, it's coming around, it's coming around. We've taken six shots and have two birds. Not bad. Rooster! Here's Bill. But like that, this hunt. Come on, cockadoodle doos. Rooster! Quickly comes unbuttoned. This is not easy. You start thinking before you pull the trigger, think bad things happen. On oh, easy shots. <laughs> it's when you heard it, it's like, you know, where, where, where is it? You know, is it my shot? If it's my shot, should I shoot? Should I not shoot? That's we've seen a lot of birds, though. I mean, you shoot and just not a lot of killing. We've got three birds in the cart. I think we've got 14 shots fired, so we've got some catching up to do. Pin! That'll scare you to death right there. The guys have slowed down, kind of settled in. They're realizing that it's gonna be a comeback kid story. Shoot carefully. Rooster, don't shoot, don't shoot. Another rooster. Rooster, don't shoot. Pin! Believe me, I've killed a lot of pheasants in my life. And I, I'll admit, I was 0 for 6 the day I did this. And it, it is tough. When they start counting your shells, it is a different deal. Rooster! Maybe that's why we try not to dwell on misses and instead celebrate 
a few good shots. Good, good. One on, one more on the board. I think we probably walked uh, what, six or eight miles today. Easy. Who's there? Watch them. Watch them. My legs are a little sore, but it was worth every bit of it. Randy, good job, buddy. Great shot. El Capitan, he wanted five and he five got it. We got five. It's a little stressful, isn't it? Yeah. But it sure is fun. <laughs> Great stuff. You know, and in the end, I don't think it matters. I don't care that we didn't shoot the most birds of the teams there. Spread those wings Spread those out. Spread those wings out. out. Spread really? the wings yeah. out. Come on, guys. I need to cover some ground here. <laughs> we had a darn good time. Very nice. I think for the folks in Broken Bow, that's the whole point. It was an awesome day. It really was.